As a schoolboy, Dennis Teo's ambition was to be a policeman or a physical education teacher. But a series of missteps dashed all his hopes, branded him useless by his parents and made him confront the responsibilities of his choices. I fall into bad company and uh, I joined the triads. At the age of 21, my eldest son uh, was born. And of course, it wasn't planned. And uh, because of my playful nature, I got myself to become a father at the age of 21 and I was still serving my national service. Having a baby and a young wife to support, he worked hard and became a top salesman and eventually manager in a few companies. Today, Dennis Teo is the owner of Evo Rich Holdings, a leading wooden floor specialist and runs three other multi-million dollar businesses. But his tumultuous journey as an entrepreneur began after he was retrenched from a job in a flooring company. In 2003, I started my own flooring business because I know I had that fire in me. And also with the experience that I acquired working for uh, my previous company, where I got promoted very fast to be a GM, I built a reputation for myself. So it makes it easier for me to kickstart to be uh, running a business on my own. With savings of $30,000 from his wife, he set up Evo Rich Holdings to sell floorings to interior designers, as well as install floorings for major residential and commercial projects. He then expanded the business by setting up Evo Rich Manufacturing, which sells wooden floorings directly to homeowners, as well as Evo Rich Works, which does installation of flooring for other competitors as well. Evo Rich looked set to take off. But it wasn't long before Dennis was confronted by the Asian financial crisis. The crisis caught us by surprise. I wasn't prepared. So the only way to keep uh, afloat and also to survive through the ordeal was to make sure that everybody multitask. So everybody has to do more than what they do on a daily basis. He struggled with his cash flow for some four years. But Dennis managed to keep to his no pay cut and no retrenchment policy to his employees. The economic crisis was a tough one, seriously. And uh, I have even problem paying salaries to my workers, to all my staff, but I do not dare to tell them the truth because if not otherwise, they will not feel, uh, they will wobble and will, they won't feel safe. So in fact, I have to borrow from banks just to pay salary. And in fact, I even paid the 30 month bonus or so. During tough times, the leader has to be strong so that the followers or the people will feel safe to fight the war. During this downtime, Dennis introduced new products into the Singapore market. He led his team to establish a strong market presence and started a unique marketing program with an eco-green message. Having been through several failed and successful ventures in business and in life, this gangster turned entrepreneur sets aside time to inspire and challenge youths with his own experiences.